I've been listening so far to your um, topic about atheism. Uh huh. Okay. And um, well, as I was growing up, I really didn't have a firm belief in anything, but I was very compelled to study sciences um, mm -hmm. like astronomy, geology, um, biology, and I had a question that always occurred to me: How is this here? How is how does this come to be? Well, that's a good question. Okay. And as I got older, well, I grew up in California, and I had a chance to live in Germany with my brother, and I just returned after 17 years. Wow. So I um, got to learn also about many different cultures. I um, also experienced uh, something that many people laugh at, and it opened my eyes to the world of spiritualism. That there uh, are things that happen, they claim they're unexplainable, but they are explainable. Okay. Well, now, the, you realize there's a difference between, uh, you know, an explanation and an explanation that is actually true. Right. When, as I grew up, I always said, if there's a God, I want proof. Okay. Okay. And I got my proof. Okay. You got your proof. I got my proof. And what, what it is, that? is not everyone is going to get the proof that they want. Okay, but what was, what was your experience, what? I guess? Well, I had, you know, normally alarm clocks go, um, they have a certain D, 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 D. Well, yeah. this alarm clock went D, 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 D. Okay. And I um, had visions since I was a child. I've had visions of things. Wait, that, that was the miracle? The alarm clock making a well, different noise? How, do alarm clocks normally make that noise? You can get them to make 151 different tunes. Well, not this alarm clock in Germany that came out of uh, Woolworth. Excuse me, I'm did not they, advertising they, here. Did it always make that sound no. or just one special time? Just one special time. And did you record it? No, I didn't. My mind did, of course, because I'm yeah, telling you about it now. You, you did say you did say that you that you studied astronomy. Yes. And, Geology. Mm -hmm. You know that stuff like that doesn't count as evidence in science, don't you? Well, because that's the problem with scientists. The not problem? all of them are, but a lot of them are arrogant and seem to. I've, but I've this is not about arrogance. Well, yeah, it is I mean, because it's, it? saying, it's saying that this all occurred by accident. It's too perfect. If you study no, the I'm atoms, talking about your alarm clock. Have you Set studied? aside the origin of the universe for a second. <laughs> just talking about the alarm clock. Yes. Thing, right? Uh -huh. It's not arrogance to say. Gee, ma'am, you know, your personal report that an alarm clock made a different noise once and you have no evidence to support it. It's not arrogance to, you know, look at that and go, oh, well, that's not evidence. Because it's an experience that, like I said, not everyone is going to experience what they want. They have to see for themselves. Isn't it how we learn the best? We learn for, from ourselves. And no, actually, no. no. I mean, there wouldn't be science yeah. if each of us could just learn everything on our own. Of course. Science is here to help us better understand how things work. And yeah. eventually, well, you should always get to the point, how did this come here? It's not okay. an accident. Well, let's, let's talk about that question then. What the complexity of, say, for instance, the atom. Yeah. Uh, the atoms are actually not complex. Yes, they are. No, have, you studied, no. have you studied? Yeah. I have a, just read a great book from but, a, um, he's a um, scientist and he wrote about the atom and this like uh, from yeah. when you have the the but core of the atom when but what what but but the atom is made of a relatively finite number of elements right That's of, right you know, and, of parts and, and don't it's, they propel around the, the yeah, uh, I know that. I know they do. They're, they're weird named things that act weirdly that's true so right? what is but, that? but it's not it's not a lot of moving parts. It, it right? is. No, not compared to things made of atoms. Compared to a car. Of, not how only of all the atoms, but all the moving parts in all those well, atoms. Well, how do you explain those moving parts, then? Do you okay. think that just came about by accident? Well, how do you explain it? How do I explain it? Yeah. Well, that is how God created it. Okay. And is they that are my question for atoms you? Atoms are okay. the building blocks of everything that is, we have. Is God complex? Yes, more than our little minds could conceive. More than our, our minds can conceive of atoms, and so he's more complex than atoms, oh, right? Oh, of course, of course. And you just said that, be, that the fact that atoms are so complex mm -hmm. is evidence 
that they couldn't have just come into being. Exactly. Right? They, they had, had to be, be created, created by something. To be so complex. So, so since God is so much more complex, mm -hmm. he also had to be created. No. What created him? Why we not? We don't believe Adam. How, how come all of a sudden God is more complex than atoms, which you say have to have been created because they're so complex, but God doesn't have to be created, even though he's more complex? Because how our, does that make sense? Because our mind has to conceive that God is God, and what? God was here before we all came into being. Why? God Why? Maybe the atoms were here being. before we came into being. I'm sorry? Maybe the atoms were here first. Well, yeah, that would be up to God. But no, 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 no. You're trying to say that because atoms are so complicated, uh -huh. they had to have been created. Yes. But if a thing has to have been created, if it's so complicated, then if God is more complicated, he e it's even more of an argument in favor of him having been created. Well, How come you get to shoehorn God in for free and not explain his origins? Because How this, come? This is, this is what makes a person a believer regardless. I don't care what religion. I don't so what makes a person a believer is called humiliation is, and submitting uh, oneself to a power greater than us all. But apparently, ma'am, what enables a person to be a believer is they hold completely irrational, contradictory concepts in their head. It may the be irrational time. to you because it's not, that it's is your not thinking. To me, it has nothing to do with me. I used to think like you, you made sir, an argument. One day, you made an argument. To me. If a thing is this is so complicated, it had to have been created. Well, it's your argument. How come you get to cheat? I'm not cheating. You're cheating. No, You're I'm not. saying this is so complicated it had to have been created. This is more complicated, therefore it's not created. Well, I understand why. It makes why, no sense. Why do you all have such a problem? Or did some were there some people in your life that were had religious beliefs or foundations and they tried to push them on you and you didn't want to accept them? And you just kept no, running. What does that have to do with it? Because how I come you're attacking this. Now, how come you're attacking my life? I'm not attacking you. I believe you are. You're not here. here. You're saying, ma'am, because I'm having a problem with your irrational argument, that therefore somebody must have hurt me with religion. That's nonsense. Yeah. Your argument is silly. We're your here. Argument well, I'm going to tell you one silly. thing. When I, we are when I discuss here. people with people, we all have opinions, right? Okay. And we it's are wrong here not anybody to trounce on somebody else's opinion. No, that's actually, it's not. That's it is not wrong to trounce right? on opinions that are just silly. For you, Yours, it's silly, but no, not for not, a, No, not for me. Yeah, there, for are you. Basic, there are basic principles of rational thinking. And they say things like, if you make an argument that a thing that is this complicated has to have been created, you can't then cheat and throw out your argument at the next step so that you let your God off the hook. It's not you cheating. can't do that. It has nothing to do with my perspective. That's irrational. Well, you know what I tell it's everyone? just One irrational. Day, we are all going to die. That's for certain, right? And? Regardless of what you believe, right? And that sucks. And? <laughs> Why does it suck when we believe, as a believer of any religion, that there is life after death? Um, there well, is. If you're if you're wrong, I'm not wrong. Oh, not? What, how do you know? Promise. What evidence do you have? Yeah. That what that evidence that you have that do you have that you're right? <laughs> well, how do you know that you're not wrong? The alarm clock doesn't cut it. Well, my mother also has had. Um, she was clinically did, and she was resuscitated. And? Okay. And she described And medical about, science that's, is great. Exactly. That's medical science and? That, that did that. And But God gave the medical, the med, the uh, doctors the ability to bring, see, that's a miracle. No, actually what happened is doctors, you know, have been researching how I the human have, body I understand works this, but children for a don't couple know hundred years research. and figured out that there's a heart that pumps blood, a brain that, a brain that drives neurons and stuff like that. That's what doctors have found out. God, Doctors do not just go to seminary school, pray, and then get medical knowledge put in their heads and then go out and practice. Well, what, let me tell you, like why is it then that after a person is dead, why do their fingernails grow? Why are the they don't grow. their hair grow? They why? don't grow. What why? actually happens is that your flesh gets smaller. You dry out. It looks like they're getting longer, but they're not actually. You sure it's not the cells it's an that are still active it's in a, it's certain a, parts of... Yeah, no, I, not I, something I, like that. It's, a, it's an illusion, basically. I, oh, okay. Well, you can, you, like I say, you're you're allowed to believe whatever you want to believe. But <laughs> there's, of there's course, if you are allowed, allowed believe and, and let's make and it clear. knowledge, and that, let's make it clear. I you, of course, are also, ma'am. You are also 
allowed to believe whatever you want That's to believe. That's correct. Absolutely. But I do disagree with you. So why do you have you said story? earlier? You said earlier that it's wrong to criticize anybody else's beliefs. I don't agree with that. I think that there are some beliefs that are so irrational that people that express them ought to be taken to task. Maybe it's not the belief. It's up to the individual to know what is right and what is wrong, unless they are insane. And have yeah, are we well, talking right and wrong, or are we talking truth and, and fiction? Yeah. If well, I'm talking about truth. If we're talking Otherwise, about truth, then we have. You. If we're that, talking about truth, then we have science and things like that out there to tell us what the truth is. Yeah. And not just our own brain, and not just my personal and, brain, some of the word universe is. Right. And which science could be faulty. Science, like the same science that made the medicine possible that saved your mother's life, right? Uh -huh. Does not allow people to play little irrational tricks like you're trying with the atoms. I'm not playing a trick. Yeah, I'm, it's a trick. I'm. I'm you, you established a rule. The rule is, if it's this complicated, it had to have been created. That's, That's right. your rule. Because it can't be by But then nature. you say that your God is more complicated than that. That's How right. come your God doesn't have to have been created? Because You're that cheating. is what we to believe. Oh, we know. You're There's cheating. nothing greater. You established okay. a rule, and you're breaking your rule. You can't do that in science. Why is and because, the and because and people standing. are willing is, to is set aside, because what people are willing to, some people have been willing to set aside their beliefs, the things they really desperately want to believe, and instead stick to rules of rational thinking. It was possible to come up with the medicine that saved your mother's life. This is what sort of pisses me off when people come at me with this, oh, well, you shouldn't criticize my beliefs. No, if people thought the way you did, we'd be living in caves. No, that's not true. Yes, true. Guys, true. Is everything, study... everything that humanity has accomplished throughout its history has been at the expense of setting aside irrational beliefs in favor of what the facts are, actually are. If you study, Everything. If, if you study the Arab, uh, Arabic contributions to um, science and mathematics and the um, during the European ages, their contributions to math and sciences, and then you think about with Columbus how people were so scared to sail because they thought they were going to fall off the end of their uh, world yeah. because it was uh, flat. Wasn't that superstition that held people back? And what we're told is, don't yes, and what I'm saying is what you're throwing at us now is superstition that's holding us back. That's what you're doing. I think it's fear. No, no, no. Your superstition that, well, no, I just, the rule is that everything that's complicated had to have been created except your God. The except your God part is your superstition that is holding us back. What? From realizing that, no, if the rule is that everything comp complicated had to have been created, then that rule just like applies to everything. Not, your God doesn't, doesn't get to get, you know, a get out of jail free card. The yeah. rule applies to everything, him too. That's why your rule clearly has to be wrong. Well, if you believe like you believe, then, well, that's By your the way, yeah, speaking of the, again, this speaking of the Arab belief. contributions to technology, the Arabs. I said to science. To science, yeah, to science. Um, how about the, the Arab, the Arab contributions to science were, were profound and great and astounding. And then it stopped. You know why? Because they had a fundamentalist religious movement well, in the Muslim that's world. Why time and they has... crushed the science that was blossoming in the Middle East. Don't we see don't we see that any day though within any form of government that is up to each and I, every person? I didn't say government. Thing? I said fundamentalist uh, religion. Well we we do see separate, that every day with fundamentalist religion. They in didn't particular. separate religion from the government then or their What? Workings. They didn't separate that. You had I a have caliph, no idea. I have no a, idea. It doesn't matter. You had a caliph, and a caliph was very, a uh, very strong believer. What happened was, as we believe, there is a evil force, an yeah. evil force called Satan. Yeah. And Satan causes a lot of problems amongst people. A lot, a lot of uh, it is born through ignorance, keeping people uh, ignorant, holding where, people man, back. I, I, yeah. Please, please say where you're going with this. Well, I was you're rambling you, now. I had an experience, even though you don't believe it or not, and it tells us, God told me to tell everyone, you, we are supposed to share what we have with our brothers yeah. and sisters. Okay, and so, so you also agree with me that it's actually a good thing to criticize some beliefs, right? Well, you just think uh, you got special permission from your invisible friend. I don't think I got permission anywhere. We I don't just have think when I hear it. something that's completely stupid, I'm I should say crazy. so. I'm not crazy. We all yeah, have angels I, Well, with us. Uh, maybe not no. crazy, but 
seriously deluded and confused. No, I, I think you are, and you just don't see it. Okay. You, you, the, the problem here is that... We don't see it because you're not showing it to us. To I, back this up. You don't have to ask anything. I you're ask coming at us with your claims to of the, God, of God, the special God, experiences yourself. that ask you God had. Yourself. To ask back God. this up a step or two, what we're saying here is that you're making a claim that there is a universe creating... <sighs> God out there. You mean an entity, a power. Entity, power, God, yes. big man in the sky, whatever you want to call it. There's something greater out there. That's right. Now, what Jeff was talking about is what it's a principle called Occam's Razor. If you have things of complexity, what you're doing is saying the atoms are complex, people are complex, everything in the world is complex, and so is God. That's God right. doesn't have to have a creator, but these things do. The problem is, is why are we adding another step to this regression, as in people are complicated things. Hearts are complicated things. They're made up of atoms, which are complicated things, mm -hmm. which are created by God, which, are, which is a complicated thing. Why can't we just chop one step off that, the God part, and toss that away and say, well, atoms are the thing that just get to be. Yeah, at some point, at so, but you're what, adding a step what on getting that, at? that doesn't need to be there. What Ash is getting you. at is that, okay. is that ma'am, ma'am, you think it's possible for a complicated thing to exist without having been created, don't you? No. You don't? Well, what, what about, about God? God? Because. Your, your, was your God created or wasn't that. it? We have to believe that is something. I'm going to tell you something. No, no. I, I, no, 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 no. I a direct no, yes or no question. Yeah, ma'am, I'm asking you a direct much. yes or no question. Yeah. Is your God you. complicated or not? I just told you, when I, re when I received my religion, a veil was lifted from my eyes, and right, I could okay. understand. All right. But, so that's, much you're not, but that's not but answering the question. You're understand. nuts, and you can't answer a yeah. direct question. That's, that's not answering the question, though. See ya. The question is... Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I hope you guys really... Ma'am. I yeah. pray and hope that you all find your way. You go right ahead and 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 live in your little fantasy world and okay, tell yourself world, tell yourself there's really something weird. wrong with us that needs to be fixed. No, you go right it ahead. isn't. You're you find the way you right are. Ahead. Just keep going. Yeah. What? You find the way you are. Just keep going. Keep yep. believing what you believe. Yep. Keep helping people. Keep, science, keep, science, and keep keep helping, helping people. people. How about that? How about if you start helping people? Yeah. Excuse me. How about if you start helping oh, people? Oh, I do. No, I do. No, I, I think you don't. I think people. you don't because you go around telling well, people they have to believe no, this crazy don't. thing that you can't prove. Let's I not jump to an assumption of our callers that we obviously know nothing about. In uh, that, she just in told that us that. So, um, but yes, we have a world view. We, we look to science. We look to <sighs> rational thought and logic to to say why things are the way they are, how we're here, what's happening, why things happen the way they do. And we think that that offers a really good explanation to the world. And the idea that there's instead some really complicated god out there who's just making decisions and saying this is how things are, uh, there's nothing to back that up. There's well, no reason. we have reason. free will. Remember, free will. Yeah, but so what? What do you mean, so what? We, we as humans don't allow each other free will. What do you mean? Okay, but so what? You're allowed to think what you want to think under yeah. the democratic government, and I'm allowed to think what I'm supposed to think, what I yeah, want to so think. Yeah, so how does that change so anything? So far. It doesn't. It's because we as humans are supposed to learn how to live with one another, regardless exactly. of how much money, regardless of what color, regardless exactly. of Exactly. That's, that's how we I get agree. our morality, is because we're living together, we have to live with other people, and therefore we make up rules that say that killing's bad, stealing stuff is bad. We have law, we have rules that we have come by through rational thought that are good explanations to why these do, do, do we, as to why we do these things, rather than just relying on some external source, God, to say, this is what you do right and this is what you do wrong. And just don't ask, don't question it, that's what I said. That's, if that's, that's not, choose to believe. that's not, that's not what we believe, that's how it is. Okay. Isn't that what religion teaches? God is the moral authority. He can do whatever he wants. If he says that killing is wrong, then it's wrong. Period. Well, we End have to draw a line discussion. somewhere, right? Amongst us as humans, we have to. Extremism sure. can occur in anything, and we have to draw a line somewhere. Otherwise, okay. everyone would be killing each other for fun. Sure. We well, have to draw the And they do it anyway why? now, right? No. Yeah, we do. You have lots of people going out on shooting sprees and killing Yeah, and how many people don't go on killing parts. sprees? Excuse how me? many people don't go on killing sprees? Did you go on one? No, and I choose not I to. I didn't. I my, handle my problems through the law. 
Yeah. I learn my regulations or I exactly. learn what I have to do and I try to handle it. Exactly. A, we live in society. We have seen that these things are bad. Most people agree with us. There are a few people out there who say that, yeah, laws don't apply to me or I'm above them or I don't care about them or whatever, and I can go on shooting sprees. Those people we lock up. This is the, this is the way the world is. Well, we, we have come to these laws, we have found out the workings of this universe, and we don't rely on a god for any of it. Well, and it works out really, really, really well. Well, I believe adding it, another it, source of complexity on top of all that of saying God is kind of pointless. Well, some people can't handle it. That's all I can say. But like that, that's that's a problem. Name one. with the handling of it. Not just because it makes something good to believe it doesn't make it real. It would be nice if there were an afterlife. I would it like is. to think that when I die, I'm not going to just die. I would like I like the idea of an afterlife. Well, it's how, pretty cool. How would you explain but that these doesn't mean that it's real. these after death experiences and can't even read, but they know they have experienced it and they might not even yeah. heard about them existing, but it's had, all over the world it has yeah. been reported. Um, they're brain all, chemistry. Yes, they're all human beings. Yeah, and they all chemistry. go through the same their brains all go through the, the same thing when they start dying. Yeah. It's been explained. It's, it's all been scientifically explained. Well, there you go again. That's well, it's true. Well, it's true. They're, we're not making that up. It's not. <laughs> for me, it's been explained. Yeah. It really has been explained. Did you know that there's scientists that actually believe in theology? I think Who, uh, Sir Isaac Newton was one of them. If you look yes, at a listing. Yes, that's true. That's true. Now, and, so how does that explain? Why would, how, how could he believe in a higher power and... Because he lived a long, long time ago and didn't have nearly the answers that we do, for one. For one answer, well, that's it. Plus, there are scientists now who, yeah, who believe in that there is a higher power, okay. right? There are some top scientists now who so believe there's a higher, higher power. So does, you know it how many? Their, does it hinder them? Do you know how many? In the National Academy of Sciences, the overwhelming majority of members of the National Academy of Sciences are atheists. Oh, really? Yes, well, this it is doesn't a fact. take a whole bunch to still believe, though, and it doesn't take a bunch. If one out well, of you're right. people. You're right, but I didn't start playing this, you know, argument from authority. You I'm did. I'm not playing anything. I'm just basing this on truth. Please get rid of this person. <laughs> Okay, we are going to go on. We have got other calls to tell us stories about, have a great day. about the things that you We've got other calls. Okay, you all have a great day. And I okay, hope thanks, you for too. thanks for calling. All right. It drives me crazy. People who, who <laughs> start out claiming to have learned a bunch of science, and then first thing, uh, you know, first and the next thing out of their mouths is, well, and then here's this rationalization that makes no kind of sense. Yeah. Drives me crazy. Yeah. The scientific process has answered a lot of things. It's, it's, a, it's a good process. It's, it, it's something that's self-correcting. It shows how the world works. She, she could um, not see that she was contradicting on. herself. So, she was incapable works. of seeing that she was contradicting herself.